Kenneth G. Hasty Raw. In three, two, one. Hi, everybody. Kenneth G. Hasty here. I'm on the road for a client in Memphis, Tennessee. But you have asked me to keep these videos going every day, so I'll, I'll do this one from the road. So today I want to tell you a little story. And well, first I'll tell you the title of today's subject is, you know, watch out for feelings when you're communicating. You know, give you a perspective. Um, I was privy to an international call the other day, and I was working with a client in Israel. And they were talking with a client in the United States or potential. So I was just on the phone uh, listening, you know, giving advice. And the phone that the person in Israel was on, the battery went dead and, and it cut the call short. But it was close to the end of the call, so he just kind of said, oh well, you know, no big deal. And then we continued our talk and, you know, I, I said, well, maybe, maybe you should, uh, you know, call back and just let them know you didn't hang up. He goes, yeah, no, no, no big deal. So okay. Well, um, I got an email from that client because I, I communicated with them on something else. And they perceived that this person in Israel hung up on them and it caused a big riff and in, within the organization there to the point where they didn't want to deal with the company um, if that person was, was going to be involved with it. Um, and, you know, it shows how an innocent thing can just blow out of hand. You know, if he had simply called back or emailed and said, hey, gee, I'm sorry I got cut off, my phone battery went dead, etc., it would have been a whole different perspective. The other part of this uh, communication today is being on the road. You know, I've been communicating with clients and some of their clients and helping them. And I've, I've noticed that people um, don't respond very well even to fairly urgent communications. And, it, you know, it's frustrating because, you know, you... You know, if you let's say you're uh, setting up a meeting and say, hey, I'm going to be in your town on this day, you know, let's get together for a few minutes, what have you, and they don't respond, you know, then, then what do you do? Do you show up? Do you, do you not go at all, et cetera? So it, it adds a little grief to it. So a simple, you know, a simple, if it's a personal email, if somebody's asking you a specific question and it's not like a ploy to get you to sign up for something or what have you, then give the courtesy of doing a quick response. Say, hey, you know, uh, not interested, or I am interested, or it's not a good time, or sure, go ahead, or whatever. And it saves the person at the other end of the line, or other end of the computer in this case, uh, a lot of grief. So anyway, feelings matter, and um, so does communication. So let's be courteous out there. Let's have a little professional courtesy, and let's all do pretty well, and uh, keep moving our businesses forward. So this is Kenneth G. Hasty. If you like my uh, videos, and you can look... Look them up on KennethGHasty.com. You can communicate with me directly there. And please like, forward, retweet, share. And I'll be talking more on the road this week. So I look forward to talking with you. Take care. Bye.